Hi, welcome to my channel. This is another video on Mongo database, which is part of set of videos which I am doing for the Mongo database. You can check my other Mongo database videos in my channel. Today, I am going to discuss Mongo database and Java connection. So how the connectivity between Java and Mongo works is, the Mongo database is connected to the Java client using a Mongo database driver. So let's see how we do the connection and the operations through code. So to create a Java project, you'll need an IDE. I'm using STS. You can use Eclipse or any other IDE. I will create a new Maven project. I'm choosing Maven project because I will be providing driver details as Maven dependency. I'll name my application as my app. So I'll provide the dependencies in pom.xml. So I'm using the driver MongoDB driver sync, that is the latest driver. You can also use the legacy driver, that is version 3. There are some differences in the methods and classes which the new driver provides. So I'll create a new Java folder. So inside the Java folder, I'll create a new class. I'll name it Mongo Connect. I'm creating this application as a standalone application just to show you how the connection works. So if the database to which you want to connect is on the same host and is running on the default port that is 27017, you can establish the connection like this. You need to create an object for Mongo client. And initiate create method from Mongo clients class. So what this will do is connection can be accessed through this object. If the Mongo database which you are trying to connect is running on a separate host on a separate port number, you can establish the connection like this. You can provide the host and port here in the create method and the connection will be established to this object. So this is the Mongo database which I am trying to connect. Created a test database and I have a single collection with a single document. Now I'll connect to my test database which I created using Mongo client. So I'll create an object of Mongo database. And from this Mongo client, I'll use the method get database and the database name. So I'm going to connect to my test database. From this database, let us try to retrieve the collection which we created TBL. So for that, I'll use the Mongo collection class with its data type as the document. So from this database, I'll get collection, the collection name, that is TBL. I'll import the dependencies. Now let us do the CRUD operations on the collection which we have selected. So first, let us do a create operation using the object of document class. So I have the key value pair, say name and the value say Mongo. I'll append the next key value pair that is say age and the value say 30. Similarly, I can add more fields to it. So I'm adding one more field here, say department as IT. So this is a document which I've created. To add this document, take the collection object and use insert one and provide the document as parameter. Now let us look how a read operation will work. To read a collection, we can use find. So this will return all the documents in the collection. I'll use a for loop.
and I'll print it. I'm using dot create function and not giving any parameters because I'm running my Mongo in my local host at default port. Now I'll run this application as a Java application. So you can see the result. The new document which we had inserted in our create statement has been inserted and the read operation is successful. So we have printed the two documents present in the collection. Now to update a particular document, we can use the method collection.update1. So we need to provide the filter that is the search criteria of the document for which we want to update. So for example, if I want to update a document whose name is Mongo, to set the age as 50. The document which we had inserted, Mongo, the age was 30. I am updating it to 50. So this will be the Java equivalent code for updating the document. Similarly, to remove the document, that is the delete operation, we can use collection dot delete one so if i want to delete the document which i had inserted i can provide the document in delete one so i'll just put the read command in the end and now run my application again so you can see the age has been updated and one of the documents which was previously inserted is deleted. This was just a basic introduction of how to connect to your Mongo server using Java and doing the CRUD operations. So you can use this method to develop your Java applications by connecting to your Mongo databases. Thank you for watching my video.